turn any audio or your voice recordings into cartoons and animations like this. Kids, I, I need your help. And this. I don't like the beach. I really don't. I don't like it here. Or even this one. Oh, 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 hey, hey. You can do all this online and it's completely free by Adobe Express. So let's get started. Now here on the website, Adobe Express's website, the first thing you'll have to do is make sure you're logged into your account. Now this can be a free account. You do not need to subscribe to the Creative Cloud to get access to this. Now at the top, you're going to find the quick actions. Now the quick action you're looking for is the animate from audio. Now animate from audio has a number of different characters, little cartoony characters that you can then animate using your own recordings. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on start now and it's going to open up the interface. Now the first thing we have to do is select our character, background and the size. So you can see we have a cute little pumpkin but we have lots of different styles here. So we can choose any of these styles. I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to find the crayons. I'm inspired by the book, The Day the Crayons Quit. And so I want to create a little video for my students. I'm also going to change the background. Let's find another background. We have a summer sunset, winter mountains. Let's go for a beach. Let's see if we can find a beach and have our crayons at the beach. There we go, we have our beach. Now we're going to create a little snippet of audio that basically is going to tell our students what an amazing time the crayons are having at the beach and how they are never coming back to school. We can then use that to have our students write letters to try and persuade the crayons to come back into the classroom, to come back, return and forgive them for not treating them well. So let's go ahead and do that. And here at the bottom, you'll see we have a record button. Before you record, you can always click on this character. You can resize it to what you would like it to be. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Maybe have it over here. This crayon is enjoying the beach, loves to go and surf. So we're going to now tick this little box, which is going to enhance our speech, which means I can just use my laptop microphone and I don't have to worry about a professional setup or I don't need any professional equipment. So let's go ahead and click on this. We use the same technology as Adobe Podcast uses. We're now going to click on record. It's going to give us a three second countdown and then we can record our message. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to allow our microphone to be used. <coughs> Hi there, class. I'm having an amazing time here at the beach. And if I'm really honest, I don't think I'm ever going to come back to class. See... I'm going to learn how to surf tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now, that was a very short little message that I've recorded just to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to animate audio. So you can see this audio is now being uploaded. It's then going to be enhanced to make sure that it sounds really good. And after that, it is going to animate my little character. So you can see right now it's computing those lip sync movements. So it's going to animate my character to have lip sync. It's going to do some head movements and even move those arms for me. After that, it's going to export this as an MP4 file. So that is all happening right now. Now you can record a slightly longer message and you can also upload an audio file. So here we now get a preview of our little animation. So let's go ahead and preview this. I'm going to click on the play button. Hi there, class. I'm having an amazing time here at the beach. And if I'm really honest, I don't think I'm ever going to come back to class. See, I'm going to learn how to surf tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, I think this is perfect. I'm going to share this with my class. They will watch it. They'll probably be really upset that the crayons aren't coming back and then they have to write that persuasive letter to try and convince them to come back to school. So what I can do now is I can click on download. If you wanted to add titles or other animations, you can always click on open in Adobe Express that will bring you to the Adobe Express interface and then you can add in titles as well. I'm just going to download this as a file. I'll click on download. And here we are in the top right corner, that file is being downloaded. And now 
I have access. Hi there, class. To the video file. Now, this is a great way of just quickly creating animated cartoons or videos for your students. Now, you will have noticed that this is a square format. It doesn't have to be square. When you're creating these, you can change the format of the animation. You do not have to stick to the square format. Here in the top right corner under size, you can change this to any format you would like it to be. So you can go to the YouTube, either a vertical or a landscape format, or you can choose any of the other various formats. An amazing website is going to let you create lots of animations that you can then use in your classroom. And why not have your students create their own animations to share some of their written work with their friends, with their families. Now, another way that you can level up this use of animated voice is by first recording your voice as an audio track, uploading this to an AI voice changer, changing the audio and then uploading that file to be animated. That's something you can do as well. So here you can see we have a browse button, click on that, upload your file. Now at the moment, the file is limited to two minutes or one gigabyte in size, which is plenty. You can upload that file after it's been changed by a voice changer, and then you can have that exported as a little animation and your students won't even know that it was your voice that you recorded this track and they will love having those personalized messages sent to them in an animated format. I just want to say a quick thank you to all the channel members. You can see their names here up on screen. I just want to say thank you because they make the creation of this content possible. Now, if you're not yet a channel member, you can always click on the join button. Please do consider becoming a member of our channels community. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure to share it with a colleague, share it with a friend and let them know about Adobe Express and how it can animate your voice. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.